Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's raining here in Chicago. There's a pretty good storm across northern Illinois and Wisconsin. Um, the forecast suggests that the high pressure ridge will start developing in the southern plains. It's not a persistent ridge, but it'll help move the jet stream north. This will allow for more rains across the northern part of the Midwest and not the southern part of the Midwest. This week we're still going to have some rains across um, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio especially Indiana and Ohio, really don't need uh, those rains. But the uh, 30 day outlook after this week actually looks normal with a combination of some, dump, some days above normal temps, below normal precip, and some days the rains will come back, especially across the northern uh, Midwest. So um, it's, I would think, a good forecast and could offer resistance to the market. Overnight prices, soybeans are down a nickel, wheat's down three cents, Corn's up about a penny. Spent a lot of time over the weekend looking at various analyst estimates of uh, S&Ds after the USDA's Friday's report. I still think, especially in beans, USDA was conservative in their approach and probably going to wait for more data between now and the August crop report to try to fine tune this thing. As far as the soybean carryout, USDA's at 425 for 15 and 16. The range is 340 to 450. There's a few people that are actually below 340. Corn, they're at 1599, range is 1500 to 1875, and most people have a wheat carryout bigger than their 842. So we're trying to decide at these current prices, a little bit above $10 beans, and for corn, uh, a little bit above 440, is that a good value or do we need to go higher or is, have we put enough price premium market that we start going lower? Big week last week in the funds, they, they came in and bought 100,000 corn contracts. They also were buyers of wheat and uh, buyers of beans, well, sellers of soybean oil. And uh, the only major change on Friday was an increase in soybean oil open interest. So the funds are long, basically, and they probably need more information to add to those longs. Supposedly, uh, we have a Greece deal, maybe. Uh, we might have an Iran deal. Um, but overnight, you got the dollar higher, you got most commodities lower, U.S. stocks should open higher. So kind of a mixed bag, uh, rain in Chicago, the forecast is better down the road, and we'll see if that offers resistance to prices. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM Radio Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.